Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one. We are going to be doing a clothing haul and a try on. The brand Emil kindly gifted me some clothes. So I was able to pick up a few bits off their website. It's very much Y2K streetwear vibes, which is literally right up my alley. And recently I cannot stop buying these kind of Y2K parachute pants, cargo pants. So I've got quite a few of those in the haul, which I'm really, really excited to show you guys. Also to note, if you do like any of the clothes that I am trying on today, I will leave a link below for each of them in the description below. There is also a 20% off discount code until the 31st of December and thereafter there's another 18% off discount code. So I'll leave both of them in the link below. So obviously if you're watching this maybe in a year's time the 20% off isn't going to work. If you haven't already don't forget to subscribe. I mainly do sneaker content sneaker reviews but I'm slowly slowly putting in some more styling videos as well. Also if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So as I said before cargo pants are literally my thing. I'm literally obsessed with them and this year we've seen Y2K parachute pants which are basically kind of cargo pants but they're a bit looser they've kind of got that parachute effect and usually they're kind of made up of shell so obviously I had to get a pair because this is actually one of my favorite pairs that I have worn I only got this package last week and I think I've worn them a couple times already so I got these in the gray as you can see here so they're kind of this shell material which also provides this kind of like baggy effect and the fitting on these is so good they're more kind of cargo-y instead of parachute-y if that makes sense that's not even a word parachute-y they're more kind of cargo vibes they're not as kind of balloony as other parachute pants that I do have and that I'll speak about in a minute that I have picked up um, and they are coughed at the bottom as well which kind of gives me more that cargo vibe more than parachute and you do have loads of pockets which I absolutely love and one thing I love about this as you can see when I try them on is that you can wear them kind of normally but they do have toggles so if you do want to make them tighter I feel like it kind of gives a different vibe to the actual um cargo so as you can see there you can make them tighter and it gives you that kind of toggle effect i've seen loads of trousers that are actually just toggles i actually have a pair as well that are mainly just toggles so that's kind of cool that you can get like two different kind of fits vibes out of one pair of cargos size medium in these but again they're elasticated at the top with a toggle so I feel like you could go large I feel like the sizing with these are kind of really rough but usually medium is my size so that's what I went for but they actually fit really perfectly around the waist so as well as cargoes I'm also obsessed with oversized tees so obviously I had to pick up an oversized tee so I got this I absolutely love the color with this I got this in a size large um, and then we've kind of got this graphic on the top I don't really usually care about the graphics to be honest I feel like as long as it looks good from far away then that's all it is it feels really 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 silky it feels really nice one thing that I'm not 100% sure about is I got a size large now I usually find this with women's oversized t-shirts um, that they don't fit like how I want them to fit but I think that's just me being really really fussy and um, I really really like the kind of arms I usually go for men's oversized t-shirts because I feel like men's just fits better but I usually like the arms kind of longer and I feel like I like the whole t-shirt just in general being longer um, but obviously because it is a women's they kind of don't have obviously the same sizing as men but yeah the color on this is really nice and I feel like it'll go with a lot of kind of colored trousers as well because it's kind of like a beigey earthy kind of tone Then I picked up some jogger jeans. Now, this is so sad because I don't have a try on clip for you because these are way too small, even though I got these in a size large. So their sizing is a bit mad because there is no way that this could be a large. Like they are literally tiny, but I'm so upset about these. I'm usually like a size 10 to 12 around kind of my waist and hips. So I feel like if you're more a kind of size like maybe six or eight, then you can definitely fit into these. If you're kind of more than a size eight, then I feel like these just aren't going around your waist, but it's so such a shame because I really wanted a pair of these so yeah they are jogger jeans but just look at the details on them that is what I really really wanted you've kind of got a cross stitching there as well and then on the left hand side you have another one. Oh, they just look so amazing and then they're cuffed at the hem as well I just absolutely loved this colour I also loved the colour of this drawstring at the top so this is such a shame I feel like they would have looked 
so, so good. I already planned an outfit for this and yeah, they don't fit. Also, the quality of these is really, really good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. They're really kind of thick material, which you would obviously expect from a jean. Um, so yeah, completely disappointed with these. So next here in the UK, it's getting a little bit chilly. I feel like it's coming up to jumper season, unfortunately, which is really, really sad. Um, I've wanted this jumper for such a long time. So I've got like a distressed knit jumper kind of sweater thing um as you can see it's got the distress details throughout the whole thing so i feel like this is perfect for autumn which we're currently in like transitioning from summer to autumn but it's not quite winter so you do have holes in it so i guess it's not you know the most warmest jumper but obviously because it is knit it still kind of gives you that warmth i literally just love the aesthetic of this jumper i feel like it's just very much y2k to be honest i got this in this cream color because i feel like it will literally go with absolutely everything um the one thing about this to know is that it's actually really really long which i love because it kind of gives that oversized kind of vibe um but obviously as you can see i am quite tall and it still goes kind of it goes quite far down on my body so because of where the randomly distressed bits are placed you can get away with just wearing a bra um it is like a tiny tiny bit see-through but i feel like a bra would be absolutely fine And then do you know what? One wasn't enough, so I went for another one. So I went for a green distress jumper. Now this one is a lot, lot thinner. For me, this is more like kind of like a long sleeve t-shirt kind of vibe instead of a jumper vibe. Also, one major difference of this. Let me just show you the front. So on the front, the distress bits are kind of more in a straight line, whereas as on the cream jumper, they're a bit more randomly placed. Um, so let me just show you the back of this because this is where it is so cool. So you've got an open back, which is so insane i feel like this makes it a little bit more girly as well and i feel like you can get a nice picture from the front and then boom turn around on the back and the details are so so nice again this is very very long as you will see on me as well um but it's a lot lot lighter now on the back i kind of i put a bikini top on but i feel like you need a bralette but i literally couldn't find any black bralette for some reason um in my drawer so i went for a black bikini now i feel like from the front you obviously have to wear something because it is kind of see-through um so you definitely definitely need a bra but it's kind of annoying on the back because I feel like it looks better when there's kind of no bra strap on the back so I feel like maybe maybe one of those bralettes that has like a clear seamless um bra strap at the back I feel like that would look good when I put my black bikini on I feel like the black bikini strap doesn't look as nice but it still looks really really good and um, this is actually one of my favorite items that I've picked up from this whole clothing haul then next I picked up some parachute pants now these white parachute pants are my favorite parachute pants that I have owned to date I was literally so surprised at how much I actually loved these. So they're absolutely huge, as you can see. I've already got them dirty a little bit, which is annoying. Um, huge around the waist. So I went for a size medium, but I feel like I could have gone for a size small. If you just look at that waist, like when I put them on without doing them up, they'll literally just fall down my legs. Um, but the thing with this is that you've got the kind of this rope drawstring at the top. So it doesn't really matter what size you are, to be honest. I feel like this could range from like a size eight to literally like a size 16. Um, Cause you can just tie them up. And I actually like that kind of vibe when they're kind of drawn up like this, they're kind of a bit more ratched. This lace is probably like really cheap, but I actually really like it. I like that it's kind of like an off white color. They have toggles at the bottom as well. So you can either have them like literally like flowy flared trousers um, or you can kind of tighten them to make them more a bit like cuffed joggers as well. I personally like kind of both vibes. So I just pick and choose um whenever i wear them also on the bum you have two pockets as well i can't lie for my trousers in general i don't really use the pockets if i was going to put anything in there i put like a phone and i feel like it just kind of drags me down and then it, maybe sometimes i put a card in there but then i end up losing the card so yeah i just don't really tend to use the pockets but i just feel like they look nice they're just a nice aesthetic so
What I found previously buying parachute pants and searching for parachute pants is that they can be so, so expensive. Um, you're kind of talking more than like 50 pounds, $50, that kind of region, which I think is kind of expensive considering what they're usually kind of made out of is actually really, really cheap. Um, but these were actually really, really decently priced. Like if I wasn't gifted them, then I would actually genuinely buy these myself. And also don't forget the discount code. So it's even cheaper. So following on from the white one, I also got a brown pet as well, which is literally exactly the same apart from the color is different i absolutely love the color it's kind of like this deep brown almost with a shade of purple to be honest with you i would definitely wear the white one more because i feel like this isn't the kind of a color that you can easily style with like every single shoe for example and um, whereas the white one you can literally put with anything but saying that i still absolutely love the color this is giving like the earthy kind of tones that i absolutely love Now, you know when you're obsessed with cargo so much, I bought a cargo top. Now you might think, what the hell does that look like? I've seen literally like cargo skirts. The other day I just saw a cargo dress online as well. And um, so I bought a cargo blouse. Now, I feel like when you look at it, you might think like, oh, that's a bit weird looking. But when you try it on, honestly, because at first when I was looking through their website, I was looking at things um, and then I went on their Instagram and I saw a girl wearing this and I thought it looked so, so cool. So I got this in a kind of khaki color. It has some kind of tassels at the bottom as well, which I absolutely love. Again, of course, we've got some kind of cargo pockets on the front. Um, and if we turn around to the back as well, we have some more kind of like details. We've got this kind of like cargo I don't even know what you call this, this cargo flap at the top on each shoulder. And it is kind of a blouse style as well. And what I absolutely love about this as well is that it has two zips. So you can kind of wear this however you want to really. Um, I kind of like wearing it, well, you'll see when I try it on. Um, just a little bit to the top, but not completely to the top. But if you really wanted to, you could wear it like that as kind of a turtleneck, which I definitely don't think I'll do. But also, which I didn't really clock, is that you can zip it up at the bottom as well. So you could wear it like okay that's a bit low but you could wear it like this um so you've kind of got the top half and the bottom half as well which is really in fashion i've seen those kind of like cardigans which are like this as well again very y2k i mean this whole video is y2k vibes i just absolutely love this this one i think is quite unique i feel like you don't see a lot of kind of other brands selling this as well so super super happy with this I really like clothes that you know not everyone is wearing and um, again at the top as well you have this kind of drawstring even though i think it's just literally there for aesthetic reasons and brings me to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed all the items that i managed to pick up today i'm so so happy with all the items that i picked up because they're actually genuinely stuff that i wear like on a day-to-day -day basis i feel like the cargo and parachute pants is literally something i buy constantly i'm always looking out for new colors i literally probably am going to have a pair in every single color by the end of the year probably in like two years they'll be really unfashionable and i'll just be left with all these parachute pants but it doesn't matter it is what it is if you do have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below also don't forget my discount codes will be in the description along with the links for all these items if you did enjoy today's video i have a styling video that is coming up kind of the streetwear vibes again so make sure you are subscribed to see that it does actually include a few pieces from emil as well but i do have some kind of other brands mixed in there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time